everybody. Hi everybody, welcome. Welcome to our samba class. This choreography you just saw, uh, we put it together for you. And we're now going to teach you step by step how to do it. All the steps and maybe we'll go through some actions as well, maybe we have time. Okay, so, ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, it starts. We're gonna skip maybe the very beginning because it's a like a bar of um, bar of a little bit of freestyle. We're kind of open to anything. If you're doing it by yourself at home, uh, you can be creative for the first bar of eight counts. You saw us improvising together, and we're gonna go over that towards the end. So, but the steps start mainly from the border focus. Okay, that's when we finish the improvisation. We start with one, uh, two. Three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Okay. Let's do this backwards. Let's do this backwards. Yeah. Um, this leg and one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight. Okay. Anything you want to add? Yeah. So when we're gonna go into our botafogo, we're gonna step diagonally across our body. Forward, ball of the foot to the side, and then replace the weight down into the left leg. And now we're going to come back up. Ah, uh, one, and ah, uh, two. Let's do that a few more times. Ah, uh, one, and ah, uh, two. Ah, uh, one, and ah, uh, two. Okay? So we're going to do two of those. Do one more time. And ah. Uh, one and a two. Ah, uh, one and a two. Now we're going to do two stationary sambo walks, but turning them. So close, and as I close, I'm going to shift that quarter of a turn to my new diagonal. Close. Now my right heel is off the ground. Send that leg back with a slight slip. So we're going to go back, ball the foot, slip the standing leg slightly, and come back. Now when I come back, I'm going to turn again a quarter of a turn. Quarter of a turn, back slip the pelvis back. So again, I send it from the standing leg, holding the ball of the foot in the back, and slip the standing leg back to close again. So let's do, just for learning, we're going to do four botafogos and then four stationary. In the routine, you only have two and two. So, ah, ah, one and, ah, two, ah, one and. Up two and one and up two and one and up two up one up two one up two one up two one up two okay ready to continue yes so maybe continue this way uh, so we finished with the side pump pump now we're gonna go into Brazilian shimmy. One, two, three, four, five. You want to go over that Brazilian to me a little for uh, It's the weight will stay based around the middle here, the center. We're just going to the side. There's a partial weight on the ball of the foot here with the hip accent. So the leg starts on a bent knee and then it goes into the hip as the leg straightens. I'm sure there's more technical name for this. <laughs> but this is kind of a, you know, a developed step from the And here we really want syllabus. you we really want you to play and shake a lot here. So again, let's go over that. So close, hip goes, and then you're gonna contract your back here. And again to the other side. So each time. You're trying to do a pump onto the side that your leg is out. Then again, pump to the side where your leg is out. So let's go from the beginning. We're going to do two, two, and two, 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 and four of each pattern. Ready? And one, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, uh, eight, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Okay, one more time. Six, seven, uh, eight. One, uh, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, 
seven, a eight, and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Let's continue. Sure. Yeah. Next part. Box. Five. Left. Left leg across. And six. I don't have space. Get lean. Ah, so we're gonna slip. So let's also get a little bit over. But I'll let you show it. So again, we just landed like this. So now we're gonna go across, side, back. So this is called a box. So let's think about why that is. We're gonna be dancing a box that's sideways. So a little bit more like a diamond at the front. So we're gonna go diagonally forward, side, and back. And now we're gonna slip. So again, we're gonna slip the standing leg, which is the left leg. As I pull the pelvis back and up, the front leg will come up and touch the butt. Up. So again, up, and then we're going to go diagonally back. So, once again, one, up, two, up, three. So after my slip, I'm going to turn the standing leg slightly and step diagonally back. You don't have to turn so much, but we're in confined space, so we're going to make it work in this space. So again, one, up, two, up, three, up, four. And again, at the back, we're going to do that closing of the foot. So from here, back, ball forward. Yes? Absolutely. Let's try that. Yeah. Um, from the beginning, with everything up until there. A uh, eight. One and. A uh, two. A uh, three and. A uh, four. Five. A uh, six. Seven. A uh, eight. One, oops, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, ah, uh, six, ah, uh, seven, ah, uh, eight. Okay. Next part. I think let's try this much with oh. music. Let's do that. I'll be on this side. slow you can actually spend more time using your foot and when you go faster you're practicing to do um, the same thing with higher speed so you can you can feel how everything has to stay a little more compact at that point okay after this we have we we'll go back into the box so if you remember the box when diagonal forward diagonal forward side diagonal back now we'll do like a, a slip action and we'll, and we'll lift the leg. Slip, diagonal back, close, diagonal forward. Okay, 
So let's connect it from the first box that we did. So from the first box it goes five a uh, six a uh, seven a uh, eight a uh, one a uh, two a uh, three a uh, four a uh, five a uh, six a uh, seven a uh, eight a. Uh. <laughs> okay, one more time. A uh, five. A uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight. Let's try now up until here with the music. also in samba. So one more time, left leg like diagonal and one, uh, two, and then we're going to do a spot turn. Three, uh, four. One more time, we finish on the right leg and Cuban break. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, you there. Okay. Um, next we have, I think, Batacadas. Flow Batacadas. So we have five, six, seven, eight. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Okay, let's go a little bit forward one more time. Start with the right leg going back. One, two, three, four. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Okay, let's connect just this piece with the Cuban break. So we go one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, slow, five, six, seven, fast, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Now we're going to go into a side, side shimmy action. Okay, so it goes. Five and uh, six and uh, seven and uh, eight and uh. Okay, let's do that one more time. From the Cuban action, Cuban break. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Shimmy. Five, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight, uh, one. Okay, one more time, same thing, because there's a lot of fast, short actions going on there. How is the shimmy different on the last step, Jonas? Shimmy on the, on the, this one compared to the beginning? Good question, Kathleen. Well, this one, first of all, travels, okay? The last step of this shimmy. Ah, even better question. So, after slow, slow, quick, 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 quick. Then we have shimmy to the side. We go shimmy to the side, shimmy to the side, ball. This is like a, a like a Botafogo ending a little bit. We roll off the ball of the foot, roll, ball flat. So we arrive at the end with the right hip up and the, uh, and the left knee bent Where, whereas the beginning of it just goes ball, ball, 
the ball, if you continue, be all on the ball of the foot, except the last one, roll, ball flat. Okay? Hopefully that answers your question, yes? yes. For everybody? You. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Good question. Um, let's do from the Cuban, Cuban break. And one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Ah, uh, one, uh, two. Okay, that's the next part. Uh, let's try it up to this point with music. From the beginning? Or? Yes, from the very beginning. to help her do the action, which is 
fantastic and it looks great I think it has a lot more volume which is something that we're looking for in dancing in any, any style, any dance how to create more volume, this is a great way to do it so something you should definitely try in this step uh, it take, well we went back to, after the voltage, we went back to beginning position okay now um, Kathleen did the feminine version and for the guys watching this video uh, you can stay in split weight replace replace and then just feel the music again samba is is underneath underneath the ribcage so you feel the music in your legs through your knees your ankles your pelvis okay so really um, you don't you, you can you can try to do what I did or you can make your own version I would like that to be 50-50 uh, there uh, kind of improvisational uh, for the ladies, I think the same, unless you think... Yes, so I'm ending it here, so 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then from there, I'm going to transfer. You can do which either foot you want, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to transfer to my left foot. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you can do two more slow circles, or you can do quick ones. Up to you. So again, 7, uh, 8, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight to prepare to restart from the Botafogo. Uh, one and uh, two. Yes? Yes, yeah, so the, the Botafogo action is uh, right before we start into our first, well, our first real Botafogo. Okay, so that's like a prep. And we kind of, I kept this towards the end because I didn't want you to jump into this quite a full action right at the beginning, so now you warmed up, now you can really go for it. Um, so, I guess... Try the second half with music, maybe. Second half from... about... From the... Jack? Yeah, we can go one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, with music, from here. Here Doing 
just an eighth on each one and not doing a bigger circle. Especially if they have more space because Kathleen was right there. I had to change my steps and uh, had to make it more rotational and then reopen at the end. So if you have more space to be by yourself, I would have done the full circle here and then split my weight. But if you have limited space, you can actually turn more on the spot. And it's okay if you wind up having someone to dance this with. If one of you is doing the eight and one of you is doing the one, then it looks like a nice percussive kind of a feel where it goes hit, hit. So that'll be okay. Yeah, it doesn't also. have to be like synchronized swimming kind of scenario. Uh, this has to be accent and reaction or question and answer kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's, Let's try, try it with music. The whole thing with music. Get yourselves ready, get your towels, get your water, whatever you need to prepare. Thank you, I will. <laughs> Okay. Let's see if we can restart the song actually. more towards the ball of the foot when, when you do the twist. Well, 
So it's a loop. I wouldn't turn a flat foot because that, I mean, there's too much friction against the core. So as you do any twisting action, your weight is a little more towards the ball of the foot. And also, by going to the ball of the foot, you accelerate your body to project to go to the next step. Uh, you don't want to be back weighted, especially to this speed. You definitely want to stay in the whole samba with your, with your rib cage slightly over your toes, okay? So you're able to produce this rib rhythm, the samba rhythm, in the lower half of your body. You don't want to be doing it up here. Okay, so we're going to do the whole choreography twice. And the second time we'll flip it around so we're facing you guys. Here we go.